When we service in a car, sometimes we see things that customers don't really realise that's not working. And one of them is quite common is the oil pressure light doesn't come on. Uh, it seems to be, especially on 300 TDIs, but uh, as you can see here, there's the, there's the light on, but it wasn't on before. Now, to test that, I just rigged up again whilst I had that little jumper lead out, and I've got a light down here this time. What I've done is, you see that yellow lead? Well, that's got a connector. I'll move this out there a bit down to the bottom and that goes on to your oil uh, pressure warning light uh, lead and then it goes straight to ground because the, the, the oil pressure switch works through a ground so this actually bypasses the switch and shows me that the rest of the circuits intact and it's actually the switch so we're gonna switch that out now top tip don't buy jobber uh, oil pressure switches they're not even worth putting in the box get an OEM one or a genuine one but don't rely on that the cheap ones are really really bad and they leak I'm gonna get this one off here and I'm gonna show you why this is a 300 TDI oil pressure switch um, the cheap ones look exactly the same except the instead of being a nice white plastic they're sort of a nylon-y coloured plastic, even more yellow. And where they leak is out of the uh, electrical connector at the end. Uh, it's quite common because you think it's an oil filter dripping or something associated with the oil filter housing and it's actually leaking out of here. The switch might work but the leak. So again, just be tempted to put um, an OEM one on or a genuine Land Rover one on. They'll last longer, I'm not going to say they're going to last forever, but you know, they won't leak so much. They are a bit tricky to fit, but not impossible. Um, everything's sort of in your workshop manual, and that's one thing that workshop manual covers quite well, is changing that switch. So uh, I'm going to change that, and hopefully that's cured the problem. So let's have a test of the switch. Straight out. No problems. Let's have a look at the old one. Oh, different type again. Usually they're more yellow, but you can see the pin's not in the centre. But that was the thing that was giving us a problem. <clears throat> this is a test lead. I always have a quite an array of different leads, different fittings on. Males, females, all sorts of things. These, these different plugs. Always handy for fault finding. So there you go, that's an oil pressure switch sorted out. Only, in the, only about another thousand jobs to do. So we'll catch you later. Bye now.